Yeah, guys, we're coming down to a place that not many people know about here. It's about a Bondi. It's a good, really good rock hopping spot. And you got you got to get here. Again, it's a hard thing to get in here. But when you get here, you've got to do a bit of a climb. So again, we're going to do a bit of a climb. So again, you've got to be really, really careful here. All right, you've got to be really careful. Again, you've got to transverse down all the way through here. And you'll see a couple of good rock platforms down the bottom. We'll take you down here uh, in the next couple of months, hopefully. Uh, try to get the guys together and we'll get a bit of a rope and we'll go down. It's only hard in one section. Uh, again, but you're pushing 60s, it's a lot harder than when you guys are now pushing, you know, <laughs> 25s and 27s. Okay, so um, really good place, really good place, really good place to go. If you're into uh, black fishing or go for pigs and all that stuff there, you know what I mean? That rocky point out, out through here, you'll see out through there, really good. But again, you need cleats, you need everything, guys. You need everything. Again, this is an old favourite, an old favourite haunt. Going down through here. Okay, so again, you follow the track all the way down. Got to be respectful of the neighbours coming back up. Because as you said, we've got uh, good neighbours all the way around here. And uh, it's uh, pretty, pretty well hidden. So, um, yeah. But uh, really good spots. Be careful. Yeah, so you used to go down through here and you'd go down to the bottom. You'd turn a hard right. You'd turn a hard right and there's a really bad corner there. And it was a, a piece of timber there. And it used to be called Jacob's Ladder. So you used to go up the uh, steel spikes. Go up across a, um, a piece of timber or two pieces of timber laid down behind the board. And I'd say that it'd match you up uh, to the other side of where the pulpit is. So if you were to go from the, uh, the boat ramp at North Bondi and head left and go all the way around past the bogey hole, all the way through to as far as you can, there's a rock cliff there that you can't get around. There used to be spikes through there. You used to pull yourself up there, go around the corner, then you'd end up here. Okay, so that was called Jacob's Ladder. So from here, if we continue down here, we turn left. Again, we'd end up down the back of the golf course. Okay, and again, you can't, you'd get down to where the old tip site was at the golf course. Again, but that's about as far as you can go on a, a any given day because it's just too treacherous. Um, yeah, so all, all along through here, you know, it's just uh, 2.2 2 million sinkers lost. A lot of skin, a lot of bones. Uh, no near misses. I've seen plenty of near misses down here. Uh, even walking down and going around. You just have to have a witch about you guys. Rock fishing uh, at Bondi is, uh, it's, you got to be careful. Okay, so now, you know, another place, another infamous rock fishing place. You know, you know where we know, you know where we are. Bondi Stink Pipe, Stella the Smeller. We're at a place called Williams Park. That's the official name of the place. Other people call it Bondi Golf Course. Originally, used to be a council tip where we're going down the back through here. Uh, you yeah, used to be able to climb down. Pretty dangerous. Everything was loose, loose metal, Rio bars. Sometimes you go down there and uh, <laughs> a bit of Rio go through your foot. But back in the 70s, 60s, boys, you hardened up. You just put a band-aid in a Johnson's band-aid. Bit of iodine, bit of betadine. Gentian Violet, harden up. Let's get on with it and keep on going. I'll show you it. Yeah, so part of the, the rock fishing journey was you used to go down here. <laughs> How good is this? So you used to uh, climb down here and you see all this used to be rubble all the way down here. So the council trucks would actually come up from the fence over here or the gate, drive along through here and drop their load off down through here. Now, you can see now how the rubble decreases, but that rubble used to go out a lot further. So you just had a tapered, a tapered uh, uh, go down there. Everything was loose, it was not compacted because truck after truck, all the council construction stuff would come here, asphalt, timbers, <laughs> bodies, everything was found down here. Uh, a lot of rescues down here, a lot of accidents, a lot of golf balls. Uh, people hunt for golf balls down there when they were younger. 
So there's probably a golf ball down there right now. I'm not going to go get it. But yeah, this is a really dangerous. So if you, you, you normally go down through here, you climb down through here, you turn right, you take it to the, the first location where I showed you before, then you continue along to Jacob's Ladder um, towards the Bondi. To our left, we hook off, we go to the old uh, place called the Merc. So we'd go down through here, turn left all the way. One of the most infamous places in New South Wales to fish. Many of deaths, many of uh, misfortunes by people taking uh, too many risks when rock fishing. We'll go for a we'll go for a little walk through here now, and uh, we'll yeah, see the fauna. It's probably been like that for years. The old caprosma bush over here. <laughs> you know, I used to go in here. You know, bite you. Used to go in here and have your cubby houses and all that stuff in here. The old salt bush or caprosma. You used to have the variegated stuff. And the old man used to say had a bit of yellow on it. It's got those little berries, little green berries, used to throw at each other. You know, put them in a PVC tube. You knocked off on the building sites and with uh, plasticine and uh, go for it. So we're going up to the fifth. So we go up through here now. This is where you hit the LT off. We get a good view of things here. Again. Okay. A lot of history here, guys. A lot of history. Then we've got history through here, you know. You know, the, uh, you know, Ray Colley, probably a life member. Ray loved his family golf and having a beer with his mates at the Bondi Golf Club. Keep your head down. <laughs> Go on here, Ray. We love you, mate. Great Bondi people here. So you go all the way through here. Now you see you know, this outcrop through here. All this used to be a quarry. And they used to mine all the sandstone here. And you look at you look at the sandstone, how it's the how it's formed, and you'll see the fissure from the, the old volcanoes. So you know you're like this is history. Used to have a ladder. Used to have uh, little steel ladders. Used to come up here, but they moved them because of occupation of the safety. Because everyone's soft now. We'll, we'll go down there. We'll have a look. You can actually jump over. You can go to that uh, survey mark there and jump over. There's a, a bit of a gap at about oh, a meter and a half. I won't do it because I've just been to the the club and had three schooners. So uh, we'll just give that a big miss. Look at the view here, guys. Look at this. Look, it's Bondi down there. Look at that golf course right on Bondi Beach. You think it'll be pumping, wouldn't you? You think it'll be pumping. But again, it's six o'clock, quarter to seven in the evening, daylight saving time. Everyone's getting the late one. You used to sneak on the back, or the back nine, but it's only a nine hole golf, nine hole golf course. We used to just rack onto the back of Blair Street down there, jump on and just finish the, the laps. The pro shop used to be down through there. And you used to just to save $3.50. And <laughs> No, do a, a back four, back five, save a dollar, you know what I mean? Everyone's going, they're happy hackers. It's in good condition. Congratulations to the greenkeeper and the staff here. They do a magnificent job because it's hard going. This is sand, you know, you gotta get you gotta get this grass growing on sand. Um, it's a hard gig. It's a really hard gig, you know what I mean? Here's the Sullivan pathway, you know, memory. Okay, long-term members, Gene and Jim Sullivan, long-term members. The, the pathway. See, Bondi's a little bit of history. If you're local, you'll know about it. You know? You'll know about it. Just even a golf course. You know, like, golf course here, all, all around Bondi's got still significant um, memories for a lot of the older generation. And now the, the younger generation, they'll get it when they're 50, 60. No problems at all. So now we're heading, heading through here now. So we're getting down through a place called the Merc. Now I used to fish this place intensively all the way through here. Bloody dangerous, you know what I mean? Very, very dangerous. So you've got a couple of islands through here, you know. You've got Bird Island, which is this one through down through here. And you've got Little Greeny, the smaller island, and you've got the bigger island down here. Now there used to be a sign just with this pathway he said, you know, dangerous, do not enter etc etc because it was it was bloody dangerous you come down here with your backpack so you have a 15 20 kilo backpack and then with the wind you can see the wind blowing and then all of a sudden you catch a few fish you catch a few brim a couple of pigs you know, kingfish 
plenty of you know blurters and all that stuff there you'd have to walk it all the way back up you know so you're walking down this path with all your stuff and you know one piece rods like seven and eight wrap rods coming all the way through here and you're walking your way down here so you're trundling up all the way down again a lot of trip hazards all the way through and all that there's a cormorant down there on there bird island used to be a cable that used to run from the bottom of that out to that island it used to be cables running to all these islands where the guys used to fish so you know it's uh, a lot a lot of history so now we're, we're walking down around through here yes here's uh, something that's probably a, a memory of someone who's lost their life down here and god bless them but again you got this little outcrop through here and you're actually walking down this track now so you're walking down this track all the way through down through here so i'm not going to do it at the moment as I said, I have three schooners, and it's not, you know, you don't do that thing, you've got to be responsible. But you follow this track all the way down to this platform through here. At the end of the platform used to be a ladder, and she's get down that ladder. Now, these are the islands through here now. Bird Island, Little Greeny, and Big Greeny. There used to be cables running out through there. Great fishing, guys, great fishing. Council took away um, a lot of the... Uh, all the instrumentation to get down because people are dying so now you can't get there but you can get there if you bring your own ladder okay so very very good very good special occasion again this used to be have a brick brown slick around it say a 2k two three k's out where the outfall this is where the sewer used to come out so the sewer used to come out through here and a big brown slick and all the fish would come in you know, and all the people would say, oh, you eat fish from the murk. But just beyond that were the trawlers. The trawlers were actually trolling the outer rim of the, the, of the shit. And they were selling to you at the fish market. So who's who? You know, who's who? Look at the outcrop through here again. Just look, look at the formations through there, you know. Unbelievable. Looks like there's some people there been um, gathering some stones over there or something. Uh, but yeah, really good little fishing spot. Really good. Can't emphasize that, but dangerous. So many lives. I've, I've witnessed a couple of people go jump in there for a swim. X a minute, the Westpac helicopters around there, North Bondi Surf Club. Mate, saw them floating out about 200 meters there because the currents, it looks nice, but the currents are bloody dangerous. Very, very dangerous. You got actually something down floating down there at the moment. Looks like a, a unit, someone else down in there, you know. Unbelievable, great location. Dangerous is all stuff. So actually, you got the so you got Bird Island, Little Greeny, Big Greeny. Then you go around the corner through there, and you got a third place called the Altar. And it's called the Altar because you have to go up another ladder and pegs. And then from the Altar, you used to keep on continuing along the Altar all the way to called all right. So there's the lift, and you keep on going all the way around to uh, the Matins. And then you'd have the Diamond Bay or Rosa Gully. You'd have all those fishermen, all those places there where all the rock fishermen used to go. And Rosa Gully is bloody dangerous. Very, very dangerous too. Diamond Bay. I wonder what that's floating down there. It's pretty unusual, doesn't it? You travel up this path you travel up this path all the way your, your backpack your rods your gear you're going down here in the you know three o'clock in the morning four o'clock in the morning walking up getting up through here now heading straight down to you where you used to live and there we are easiest part of the walk now <laughs> going down through here got a gate cruising you just don't get hit by golf balls. The old core four. Ooh, yeah, you got a duck. Well and truly here, boys. Well and truly. Down near the Blair Street. Walk down there to Nadia's uh, corner store. You see the couple of drinks. Sunny boys and glugs. Get home. And here we are. This is where we are. <laughs> Thank you.